Hi everyone, my name is Jandri and today I'm going to present this activity. First, we're going to talk about some common mistakes that we make when speaking English. Also, we will show you a little sketch about the use of fonts in class. Another topic is with culture that identifies ourselves. Finally, we're going to talk about books by an amazing writer, Dan Brown. Let's get started. Hi everyone, my name is Danny. I am Natasha. And we are going to show you words that sound similar but have different meaning in spelling. They are called homonyms. The first two words are rained and rained. Rain means the period during which a sovereign rules. For example, the king reigned in a time of peace and prosperity. Rain means the moisture condensed from the atmosphere that falls visible in separate drops. For example, he won't come in a rain like this. The second two words are sight and sight. Sight means an area of ground on which a town can be built or a monument is constructed. For example, the site for the new school has been bought by the government. Side. Side means the position to the left or the right of an object or a place. For example, always when you go upstairs, make sure you take your right side. The final two words are high and higher. Higher means at or to a specific height. For example, he asked for a higher salary. Higher means to obtain the temporary use of something to a great payment. In other words, it is a rent. For example, we know you hired an accountant. That's all for common mistakes. Continue watching Telefine. Your favorite worst English school is back. More dysfunctional than ever. With the craziest teacher. Welcome to the Gringo Feliz Center, where learning English is not an option. <laughs> Good morning, class. Good morning, class. Okay, hey, no cell phones in the class. No cell phones. Put your cell phones away. Put your cell phones away. Thank you. Okay, here, give me that phone. Yes. Okay, now where were we? Yesterday we were talking about the past tense of... To be. Thank you for the help. Oh, did you ask guys who so boring for me? Really? Yeah. Well, why don't you come up here and teach the class? No, no come! Uh, teach the class! I love it. Keep going, please. That is the last time. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, now, we were talking yesterday about the past tense of... Get out of here, bro! Yes, I tried to get the first plane. Target down! Yes, I killed you! Reloaded! Did you? I win! I'm the best! Look! Oh, wow! Give me the cell phone! Did you? I know! Did you? Hi. <laughs> okay, now... <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, teacher, I sent a message for my dad. Really? Give me a second. Teacher, no, teacher. Oh, teacher, no. your dad is me. Teacher. teacher, come on, just me. But how about this? Teacher. Hello, mi amor. Teacher, no. Do not contact this student anymore teacher. in class. Thank you. Teacher, please, please help Teacher. I think because of cell phone use, I think it's time for a surprise test. Why? 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 Why
Jay yeah. and Jay Wall, I'm not. There we go. Oh, yes, I know you love surprise tests. I love surprise tests too. Here. And another one here, and another one here. Did you get for the six? The number A. A. Yes, A. Oh, thank you. Oh, the teacher. Yes. No, I. You I are think. getting a no. zero for this test. No. Yes. Teacher, thank you. Just. Oh my God. Yeah, and you know, you never used your cell phone even once. That's why you're my best student. It's okay, teacher. Don't worry. Like, can I go, please? What? Can I go, please? Yeah, sure. But you're not taking the phone. Teacher, sit down. No, no. Did. Sit. Sit down. Teacher. Oh, man. Oh, man. This class sucks. It's the worst class I ever had in my life. Hello everybody, my name is Viviana and today I'm going to present Cultural Report. Mama Lola. Mama Lola is one of the most famous restaurants in Loja. They have been offering their services since 2010. It has been almost a decade that we can be sharing that wonderful food. We all know that Loja had a lot of delicious food and Mama Lola offered just one part of that food. They offer cecina, a cut of meat, especially pork, that is flavored with spices and a secret ingredient from the restaurant. We also have cuy, that is an animal that if you prepare, it's a very delicious plate. It is also very big, so you need to be very hungry if you want to eat it all. Another dish we have is aguado. This has green beans, carrots and potatoes. Another dish we have is consomme. It is also a chicken soap, but this soap is made with a part of the chicken that is in the throat. It has green beans, carrot, potatoes, and rice. You may think it is the same soup, but they are completely different, even in the way they get prepared. So this was my cultural report. I hope you enjoy it and thank you. and today I'm going to talk about Dan Brown. Dan Brown, who is renowned all over the world, was born in Hampshire. He was the eldest of three children in New Exeter. He attended Phillips Exeter Academy, which was considered an exclusive school. After graduating, he went to Emory to get his degree in Spanish and English. In 1986, he came out with his first thriller called Digital Fortress and went on to write Angels and Demons and Deception Point. In Masterpiece, The Da Vinci Code was published in March 2003 and sold 6,000 copies and its first day and reached the New York Times bestseller list in his first week. Thanks. This is the end of this video. We hope you enjoy. 
and thank you for watching. I'm Jandri, and until next time, be todo fine.